Hello viewers, welcome one more on JJ Tronix. It's Tech Saturday, and we all know every Saturday the digital meetings bring to you amazing tech. Today, in front of us, we are going to be presenting to you the design of a manual temperature control system based on contactors. This design control the temperature in three different stages. We have we have the low, medium, and high. That is to say, for example, if you have a poultry that you need to regulate the temperature for the chicks, during the raining period, if it's raining, we know that the temperature at that time is very low. So what you should do is that you, you, you should put your system in such a way that power on the system to give you maximum temperature. To do that, you just press on S3. S3 is going to give you maximum temperature and if you have the sunlight is there and it's not too good so you can put medium temperature but in the case where the sunlight is somehow high but you need a bit of temperature you just put low temperature how does this system function for us to achieve a low temperature the system connects these two lamps in series for medium temperature it connects only one and for high temperature the two lamps are being connected in parallel okay let me explain to you how this design function an action on the push button s2 is going to to energize our contactor ka1 and if you look here the ka1 is going to close it open contacts meaning is going to close this key a1 here when key a1 is closed here connect this lamp goes like this and you can see this key a1 closed thereby connecting these two lamps in series so at this at this instant we have low temperature because these two lamps are connected in series that their temperature is very low okay as you can see here we have two contacts in series these two contacts are placed in series for electrical interlock because this system is is too dangerous any mistake can cause a short circuit so we put this contact just a way that immediately the user has put the system in low temperature you need to off it before putting it in high temperature yes if somebody try to press the high or medium temperature it won't work that is the essence of this contact because if this if the if if this contact is not placed if the inter electrical interlock is not placed and someone act on the push button s1 while contactor ka1 is on is going to cause a short circuit which will be very dangerous same thing happened here for us to have medium temperature press s1 s1 will energize our contactor ka2 the contact all the key that ka2 is on meaning it's going to put on only h1 and that's why you see here so it's going to close it contact ka2 and here we also have ka2 so these two contact will be closed and h1 is going to be on in for maximum heat just press s3 once you press s3 it's going to connect the two lines in parallel meaning it's going to close it open contact and as you can see here those k3 that are this is k83 is here power on this lamp and we also have k83 here which will close for current flow like this and we have k83 here so you see that these two lines will be on in parallel let me simulate the system and you see how it works okay for low temperature just need to act on s2 once you act on s2 you can see here this s2 you see that this contact is closed ka1 is closed and you see this lamp and this lamp are connected in series because now you see this ka1 here is closed so these two lamps they are in series you can see this is like this the bulb cannot light because the voltage is very low on the, the on the simulation is very low 
okay for us to put medium temperature we need to stop it once you stop it now you can act on s2 you put the medium temperature now you see that only this one is connected in parallel in only this lamp is on only this lamp and this is the only the h1 is on okay and if you try to act on maybe low temperature it won't work you try to act on the maximum it won't work because of the electrical interlock so you put it off once it's off now you can now move to maximum temperature we put these two lines have been connected in parallel this is it you can see but the other way around you see these two lines are connected in parallel thank you for watching for any question please please just write on our comment section and we are going to respond to you as fast as possible don't forget to like share and subscribe to our video we are here because you are there thank you and stay tuned the electronic team promised to bring to you more and more interesting videos thanks Didn't take very long after meeting you for me to make a move Less than a week And I told myself not long before